this car had no oil pressure and the chain, the guides were bad, so we're going to replace the oil pump and we're going to replace the chain and all the guides and the tensioners. So what was the problem with this? No oil pressure. Why? Because the, the, the gasket was broken on the tensioners. Do you have a tensioner right here? You can well, see and what, what engine is this? That's a 5.4 five, five motor. 5.4 four Ford? Both of those O-ring broke, so that's where the oil was leaking. To so five we're gonna four? Yeah, 5.4. So we're going to change the both tensioners. That's where the oil pressure was leaking. So and now these gaskets the go? These, this little they, they, gasket yeah, here? Yeah, this, this is a gasket right here, O-ring. So they were both blown. So that's what happened. So we're going to change it now. So you have to go through all that work? Yes. Ford. So why are you taking the oil pan down? We want to replace, we want to check the metal went inside the pan, so we want to clean it up. Right. So we don't want the metal going to uh, damage the engine. So how much does this job cost retail? Uh, probably between uh, 25 to 2600 A lot of work. Looks like a lot of work. So how did you figure out what was wrong with it? Uh, my master mechanic, Kenny, find it. All right, so you, you looked at that and you seen it. That, yes. Is this, is this a known problem? Yeah, that's a known problem. Yes, sir. So you knew to look for that right away, right? My master mechanic, Kenny, did it. All right, and this... Uh, what, what vehicles e, have e, this engine e in it? E250. E250? Van. What other vehicles have it for Ford? A lot of others? Or? A lot of, all the Ford trucks has it. All the, uh, all the truck come with it. Uh, the vans come with it. This engine. It's a nice engine. But a little faults, you know what I mean? Every, every engine got little faults. At least it's not made out of aluminum like pickup trucks. Good. Acha.